Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about basic English grammar adjectives. Here you can learn all about adjectives, its forms and its types. So, I request you to watch the full video till the end that will really helpful for you for, and also it helpful for basic learners too. And one more request, if you are new in my channel and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe this channel immediately for get notified when I post a new English learning videos. I discuss about adjectives and its all types very elaborately. So listen this video very carefully to understand very easily. So without further delay, let's move on to the video. So first of all, you need to know what is adjective. An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun or it can also be pronoun. Let us see the examples. Number one, this question is very easy. This question is very easy. In the sentence, easy. We are talking about the question which is very easy. Here, easy is called adjective. Number two, that design is new that design is new in the sentence we are talking about the design which is new here new is the adjective when we use adjectives by noun they make the nouns very precise they also make our language very beautiful but we should be careful in choosing the adjectives we use we should clearly know what we want to say about people or things and choose the adjectives accordingly Let's talk about the position of adjective. When an adjective is used to describe a noun, it's normally placed before the noun. For example, an easy question. In the phrase, we are talking about the question which is very easy. Here, the question is noun and the adjective well, easy. Next one, a new design. Here, the design is a noun. We are talking about the design which is new. New here is an adjective. Going to the next point that is kinds of adjectives. Adjectives can be divided into seven kinds. It's mainly six kinds but somewhere you can find there is a seven kind. Look at the following chart. Number one that is adjective of quality. Two adjective of quantity. Three number. 4. Demonstrative adjective 5. Interrogative adjective and 6. Possessive adjective and the last one that is proper adjectives. Let's describe about adjectives of quality. An adjective of quality describes the quality of a person or a thing. For example, she told me a funny story. She told me a funny story. Number 2 that is the teacher asked me a difficult question the teacher asked me a difficult question an adjective of quality answers the questions of what kind of remember that an adjective of quality answers the questions of what kind of for the example the teacher asked her difficult questions here the answer what kind of question the teacher asked the teacher asked difficult questions. Another one that is, she told me funny story. Here, what kind of story? She told me a funny story. After that, an adjective of quantity. So what is it? An adjective of quantity specifies the quality of a thing. For example, we have enough food for a month. We have enough food for a month. Next one. We need some water also. We need some water also. An adjective of quality answers the question of how much. How much in this following sentences. Number one, that is, we have enough food for a month. Here, how much uh, food we have for a month. Number two, that is, we need some water also. Here, how much water we need that refers us the adjective of quantity going to the next kind that is adjectives of number adjectives of number an adjective of number tells how many person or thing are meant 
For example, five passengers got into the bus. Five passengers got into the bus. Next one that is many friends helped him. Many friends helped him. An adjective of number answer the question of how many. There is a number adjective of number for this. Here we can get the answer of how many. Like five passengers or many friends or several languages, etc. An adjective like third, fifth, eleventh are derived from numbers. The adjective like third, for example, is derived from the number that is three. Similarly, the adjective fifth is derived from the word five. These adjectives are also called adjectives of number. Since these adjectives shows in what order a person or thing stands, they are also called ordinal adjectives. Remember that point and take a note of it. After that, we will discuss about distributive adjectives. Distributive adjectives. An adjective which refers us to each one of a number is called a distributive adjective. Let us see the following examples. Number one, that is every child must be sent for a medical checkup. Every child must be sent for a medical checkup. Number two, that is neither candidate was found suitable. Neither candidate was found suitable. In those sentences, we are talking about each one of a number. For example, every, neither, every child or no one candidate. Here we are using neither candidate. Distributive adjectives are a kind of adjectives of number. Listen and watch it very carefully. Give the beggar some food. Give the beggar some food. Some parents come to meet the principal. Some parents come to meet the principal. In the first sentence, some food answer the question, how much food? So, some is an adjective of quantity. In the second sentence, some parents answer the question, how many parents? So here, some is an adjective of number. It means that the same word can be an adjective of quantity or an adjective of number depending upon the way in which it is used. Nouns can be countable or uncountable. Books are countable, milk is uncountable. An adjective used with an uncountable noun is an adjective of quantity or an adjective used with an countable noun is an adjective of number. Remember this point, this is very important. For example, we have sufficient milk. We have sufficient milk in the sentence sufficient the word that is adjective of quantity and milk that is uncountable noun. Next, we have sufficient books. We have sufficient books in the sentence. Sufficient the word that is number, adjective of number. But the books in the sentence is uncountable noun. Please note down that point. Number one, there is adjective used with an uncountable noun. That is adjective of quantity. And number two, that is adjective which is used with an countable noun that is adjective of number after that going to the next point that is demonstrative adjective now we are talking about what is demonstrative adjective a demonstrative adjective is used to point out some person or thing remember a demonstrative adjective is used to point out some person or thing for example this walls need to be painted this walls need to be painted number two that is such students always get good marks such students always get good marks number three that is a certain king was very kind a certain king was very kind in the sentences these such and certain they are called demonstrative adjective we do not have many demonstrative adjectives you will see only this, that, or this, those, yonder, such, and certain used as demonstrative adjectives. Okay, so let's talk about interrogative adjectives. What is it? An adjective which 
when used with a noun ask a question is called an interrogative adjective let's read the following examples number one that is what question did the teacher ask what question did the teacher ask number two which umbrella is yours which umbrella is yours number three that is Whose painting has won the prize? Whose painting has won the prize? In the sentences, what, which, whose, they are called interrogative adjectives. After that, we are talking about possessive adjectives. So, what is this? A possessive adjective shows possession or belonging. It shows us our possession or belonging of something. For example, your dress are elegant your dress are elegant number two our car needs repairs our car needs repairs and the three that is we went to his house we went to his house take a note of it it's also an important part of the positive adjectives number one that is a positive adjective answer the question of whose whose dress is this whose car is this Number two point that is my, our, your, his, her, its and their are used as possessive adjectives. And the last one, let's talk about proper adjectives. Okay, what is the proper adjectives? An adjective derived from a proper noun is called proper adjective. An adjective derived from the proper noun is called a proper adjective. For example, Indian doctors enjoy a good reputation. Indian doctors enjoy a good reputation. After that, Chinese goods are not very durable. Chinese goods are not very durable. In the sentences, we are talking about Indian, Chinese. They are the example of proper adjectives because India, China, that the country are proper nouns. So I hope that video will clear your all doubts regarding the chapter adjectives. And if you have any issue or any doubt then leave me a comment and let me know your feedback regarding my channel and video. So that's all the whole lesson. So if you like that video then give me a big thumbs up and if you are new in my channel I request you to subscribe this channel for get notified when I post a new video. In my channel you will get various kinds of English learning videos every day. So for this, subscribe this channel immediately.